Aloha everyone, my name is Marie McKenzie. I'm a geography instructor at Leeward Community College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to travel the world without leaving your seat using Google Earth. Let's get started. To access Google Earth using the browser-based version, simply type in www.google.com earth in the search box and click enter. This will bring you to the Google Earth homepage. Select launch Earth. This will take a few seconds to load. Now there are many wonderful tools available in Google Earth. For example, Google Earth Voyager. Click on the ship's wheel icon on the left side menu here. It'll bring you to a page that showcases interactive stories, quizzes, and layers of images to educate everyone about the world. You may browse through a variety of subject areas in different categories. For me, because I'm interested in climate and climate change, I'd like to explore the layers category and perhaps view the current hurricanes and tropical storms. This will take me on a guided tour. Let's go back to the main page. Also in the left menu is this magnifying glass that allows you to search for any location on earth that you'd like to visit. Let's explore the sites of the tallest mountain in the world, Mauna Kea or Mauna Awakea on Hawaii Island. So I'm gonna type Mauna Kea. It'll zoom into our destination. On the right-hand side, there's this information card, which tells us a bit more about Mauna Kea. I could zoom in or out. I could even click shift, click on the keypad, move my mouse forward, backward to tilt the earth. Mauna Kea is a shield volcano rising at about 13,800 feet above sea level, one of the most sacred places in the Hawaiian Islands. The pristine atmospheric conditions present on Mauna Kea led to the construction of 13 telescopes you can see here. On the bottom right, there's this street view feature. The person icon you see here, if you click on it, you will see all the different spots that you can drag and drop the person and see what it looks like from that area. Let's see what it looks like in this area here. Once I drop my person icon on that dot, it'll zoom in to ground level and it'll show me what Mauna Kea is like at the time this picture was taken. From a distance, you can see this cloud layer. This is also called the temperature inversion layer where it limits rain and pollutants to areas below, leaving the air dry and the sky clear above at the summit. Let's head back to the aerial view. One more tool that I would like to show you is the measuring tool. The measuring tool allows us to measure the distance between two points and the distance around objects. If I click on the ruler icon here, it'll showcase this box that shows the distance measured as well as the units. Let's measure one of the highest lakes in the US, which is Lake Waiau. Lake Waiau is southwest of the summit of Mauna Kea, which is right here. Let's zoom in, let's make sure we have our ruler icon ready. To measure the width, which I like to measure, I will simply click on one end of Lake Waiau. I'll click once and I'll drag my mouse to the other end and I'll click on that. And the box here will show me the distance of about 27.83 meters. If I wanna change the units, I can simply click on the drop down menu and change either to inches, feet, yards, miles, or smuts. Now you can have a better sense of how vast the world truly is by using Google Earth. You can do this with any location on Earth. So get out there virtually and start exploring. Mahalo. And please check out our other videos.